So I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cold this morning. As we head out, we'll probably motor for a couple of hours because there's like one or two knots of wind and then it gets to about eight or nine as we get further out and then it will continue on to about 20, 20 knots as we uh, follow through the night into the next day and there'll be a consistent like 10 to 15 knots the whole way to Albania, which would be awesome. All right, I'm going to go down and cook. <laughs> Look at the baby. Oh. Oh, like a lion. Oh my god. Ben? No, I don't like it. This is like how moms feel when their children start fleeing the nest. Hey Finn mate, it's your first time up the stairs boy. Oh my god, what do you think you're doing? I don't like it. Currently cutting up potatoes, garlic and onions. I'm going to cook up a couple meals for us. We're going to be sailing for the next two days. I'm going to get it all finished while we're flat and calm. I'm sleeping on my bed. been sick this whole trip <clears throat> still have a cold and I think because I'm already weak just having a bit of swells made me feel a bit cool I'm doing all right now it's just it's a beautiful day I'm just feeling like really weak Ryan's down having a nap and because I feel so gross all I can do is lay here so it's perfect for just keeping on watch just sit here and do nothing check into Montenegro, just don't put the sticker on your window or on your boat, huh? It's like a million pieces it's coming off in. What better time than to sit here for the next hour and try and break it off in the sunset. But I'm sure no one wants to see me feeling this off in the really piece of the boat when I see the sunset. Pretty sick. So Brittany's been sick this whole passage, so she hasn't really been doing too much, but we got our duty-free fuel, we pretty much set motor, <laughs> I'd like to say set sail, but we've been motoring most of this time because when we left the wind was going to be pretty good the whole way down behind us, but it changed the morning that we got our duty-free fuel and there was no wind, pretty much 24 hours behind, so we're at the end of our trip and the wind's been quite good this last probably eight hours. So we sailed downwind a little bit. But now we're motoring because we're about to pull into Saranda early. Because we have been motoring, we've been going a lot faster. We've gone about seven, eight knots instead of sailing at five or six. 
So we got here early, which is probably a good thing, but yeah. <laughs> you want to say anything? Jackson, do you want to go to the toilet yet? Jackson hasn't gone to the toilet, which is annoying because he knows he knows to go to the toilet. He goes to the toilet in the bow with the little fake lawn, but um, I don't know, he's just not doing it. You know what's really funny? It's cute but sad at the same time. He's sitting there and he keeps like looking at the tender. I'm thinking the tender's not in the water, mate. It's just hanging there. But he's looking at the tender crying like, take me, take me, take me. Man, you gotta pee on the bow. Look, I know, I'm sorry, buddy. But for the last few hours, I've been going there, letting off a little cry, like a little bark, and looking at the tender. Hey, mate, you know, you know the drill. <laughs> sorry. Good morning. I'm gonna try and sound really happy and excited, and I am happy and excited, I'm just really tired. We're about to have wind behind us the whole way. The swell was hitting us from the side, and the wind was just nowhere to be seen, so it was just an uncomfortable, rocky sail. So now, we're going to um, check in back at Saranda Summer Tours. We called up the agent there again, so we pulled in last night, and we tried to call the port about six times, and they didn't answer, so we just dropped anchor and slept, and we woke up this morning to a beautiful wake-up message with Sunday, Sunday, agent, agent. And I'm like, oh, yes. And I'm like, agent Sunday. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, come in when you're ready. So I'm like, all right, we'll have a shower and we'll get to it. What are you doing? <gasps> For all the guys out there, I'm sorry. Brittany wouldn't appreciate it if I, if I showed you the goodies on camera. <laughs> all right, so Brittany's getting ready now. I'm just going to get a shirt on and let's go see yo -Ya. Weeper's done the first order of business, sorted out a phone card. <laughs> I went to a Vodafone, the lady was quite rude. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I for seventeen hundred leg, so three hundred leg cheaper, I got twelve gigabytes for a month. It's supposed to be twenty gigabytes. Oh yeah. So I got ripped off. Guess what? I'm gonna say this and we get my guns out first. <laughs> Guess what? What? We hit a thousand subscribers. Really? Like if a thousand, if you put a thousand people in a room. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. Can you say thank you? Thanks guys. We're back at our favorite grocery store here in Sarando. Oh, yeah. And the first thing I want It's more cookies. These things are the best. One. Sydney <laughs> <laughs> is learning how to climb up the stairs and he doesn't like to be left alone. What's that? He doesn't like to be left alone. Yeah, no, he knows Jackson. He's like, oh my god, don't leave me, don't leave me! Hey, you can't come, mate. In Kator, it's so beautiful, but because you've got massive Ooh. mountains, it kind of like, it was very cold in the mornings, and then it heated up throughout the day for a few hours, and the sun was on top of the mountains. But like, it's weird yeah. to come here now, and just wake up to all this. It feels like summer again. Yeah. Okay, chill, all right, relax, relax. Vinny! <laughs> come on, buddy. Vinny, where are they going? Oh no, they're leaving. If you jump in, I do not want to have to jump in after you, sir. Bit of a dreary day today. And there's a massive cruise ship showing up. And Mr. Ryan is over there helping our fellow Aussie neighbors.
We're gonna have a party on the boat tonight. Party! <laughs> We've got Cruisers Unite here on Sunday today. We run into Hello, sailing Sunday. <laughs> There's four boats in this one bay, all Australian. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and there's only four yachts here. All on the four have got Australian yeah. flags on them. Yeah. If you want to get really technical though, Brittany, you're the odd one out right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone's enjoying some Vegemite scones and trying to be as Aussie as possible here in Elf. He doesn't oh. forget because he's not 60 <laughs> plus. I mean, you've had a drink or you've got your mind on something else. You can't, you know, blood's yeah. can't yeah. think of more. How am I going to blood Oh, no, 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 I mean, like, we, got, we can only do one thing. Yeah, how about it so far? Then we have, didn't you say we have chicken? Yeah, I think so, in the freezer still. I need hair ties. Look at, I'm holding my hair with a freaking baseball hat. <laughs> so a lovely lady. Look at my wrinkly shirt. That's what sailing's all about as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bread, water, eggs, wraps, hair ties snacks and i'm gonna get some more fruit chocolate no everyone say hello to maybe finny little baby finny <laughs> okay i gotta cook oh my god my eyes won't stop watering So I've caramelized the crap out of my garlic and onions. Now I'm just going to add chicken. I add a pack of mushroom soup to my gravy. And it's really good because it helps thicken the sauce without having to add like flour or anything like that. And another trick that my mom taught me is to add the starchy water from your boiled potatoes. I'm just going to cook off this chicken, add the mushroom soup, pack a little stock cube of chicken stock. I'm going to add some water and then I'm going to add the rest of the veggies after that. And it's really good. All right, so now that's got all the gravy going. So I'm going to add the veggies. I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes now, so I'm gonna be naughty, cause this is how Ryan likes them. I'm gonna add some cheese and butter and milk to it. It's gonna be so good. I mean, it looks a little bit like dog food. Here you go. Done and dusted. Now if I get seasick while we're sailing, and Ryan's like, I'm hungry, turn around and be like, it is already made, serve yourself. And while we're here, look at the baby. That never happened. Mate, that's foul. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it should be free. Okay. Um, Getting rigging advice over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually costing you guys money. For the sorry. price of a green grass pea mat. <laughs> here comes trouble. We have a coffee, we'll probably come over to I'm in Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll come over and say hello. Yeah, I was going to say the same, I'll probably do the same as well. <laughs> I think it was an Aussie invasion of Albania. Oh, see, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> So Rick and Lou are here on this boat. What's the boat called? Salacious Star. Yep. And you guys just started your trip just like us That's only right. a few months ago. That's right. We're brand new at it. Yeah, Aussies. And they've got their dog on board named Boy. They're taking some of Jackson's green mat because Mr. Boy doesn't have any grass on board and he needs to go pee. <laughs> and you're putting in a big grass mat, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to get a new big one. And then we've swapped for what was it, Ryan? Oh, rigging advice. Rigging oh, okay. advice yeah, yeah. and? and uh, multimeter. Oh, the multimeter. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. He's oh, forgetting God, all the good yeah. things you've done for uh, us already. Uh, yeah. That's a selfish man yeah. right there. Uh, what else can you give me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd love to have gone for a sail with you guys. Yeah, it would have oh, been no, good. It would have been awesome. But mm. you know what? I'm I'm sure we're going to cross paths again. Oh, 100%. Because if you're, even if you don't go to Greece, you're going to Turkey. Yeah, that's right. And we're heading to Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll so. meet in the Aegean. In the meantime, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Happy New Year. These guys have a sailing channel as well. Sailing Salacious Star. Yeah, go yeah. check it out, guys. We're not the only ones out here making videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See ya, tell Lou I said bye. Two Aussie boats left. Don't forget.
Watch Sailing Sunday, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. See ya. So I need go. two Australian boats left. I want to say my goodbyes. Jackson, come here, mate. Finny! Come on, mate. You can stay and do what you want, Jackson. Finny! Oh, he's trouble. <laughs> oh, no! He likes to chase my legs. Jackson, he's coming back. Don't be so upset. You want me to drive because you're scared? <laughs> it's one thing to drive up to your own boat. It's another thing to drive up to somebody else's. Just cut it short and I can paddle if you get scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right. Here, turn it, turn it off. <laughs> Hello everyone. Yeah. Jackson. <laughs> Jackson's Albanian backyard. When we're in Sarande, we can't bring him into town because there's lots of street dogs and we don't trust him with them because he barks. So he gets the ferry terminal. Don't you, Jackson? Like and subscribe. <laughs> it's got air in my face. Ah, Jackson. Jackson says like and describe. Describe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> He's really heavy. He's tricky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like and <laughs>